Becky and Ryan are the cutest couple who just happen to be crazy in love. Becky is kind of this really cute, bubbly personality that it's just so hard to say no to. Hey, Ryan, come and get a cupcake. I'm probably whipped. <laughs> Not probably, you are whipped. <laughs> yeah. I like Ryan's jawbones, physically. <laughs> I like his laid back personality. He's really up for anything. Whatever I say usually goes. Of course. <laughs> We play a lot of video games. We're almost there. We almost got him. We're almost there. Woo! Yes. Good job. Yes, we got yes. him. You're the hottest nerd, Dragon Slayer. He helps me with my cupcakes sometimes. He likes eating them more than actually making them. Can I eat this one? Well, I guess. You make the best cupcakes. Thanks. I am a little cupcake. <laughs> sometimes my cupcake gives me a little sugar. Just a little. Well, it definitely wasn't love at first sight. We went on a date, and I was just kind of like, OK, this is something, I'll try it. And then just in getting to know him, I just loved everything about him. From that point on, it was as easy as one, two, three. Becky and Ryan are ready to be wed, but if it's left up to them, they'll never get there. We're so busy. He ha does a lot of freelance work with his side business for programming, and I'm starting up a cupcake business. <laughs> No matter how sticky sweet this duo is, there won't be a wedding without a little push from wedding planner pro Gina Sole. I'm here to meet up with Becky and Ryan today, an adorable couple that has no idea what's about to happen. I hear you guys are engaged, yeah. but don't have the time to tie the knot. No, we don't. <laughs> We're very busy. Well, I can make your wedding happen. Great. But there is one condition. And what would that be? You have to hand over full control of your wedding, and I mean everything, to one of your mothers. Uh. <laughs> everything? Everything. It's always every girl's dream to plan their wedding. Won't get to pick your wedding gown. Won't get to pick the flowers, the venue, the invitations, nothing. Do you trust your mom? Of course I, I trust my mom. I trust my mom. I need your answer now. We'll do it. Yeah. I think, think it's our only option at this point. You'll do it? Yeah. Great. Let's get you married. <laughs> OK, great. Right. Our mothers are very different, so the themes that they're going to be planning will be very different in themselves. Yeah, I think we'll see polar opposites. Our couple is correct. Becky's mom is a confident and controlling diva who's got a penchant for travel and being treated like a queen. Can you have the car ready in 10 minutes, please? I love shopping. I wear heels every day to work. I like to go to the spa. I like to get my nails done. I like to relax in the bath with a good martini. I am definitely, definitely high end. She's definitely high flair. Ryan is a super laid back guy. He's a computer geek and a gamer. So it was a little bit off that Becky picked him, but they say opposites attract, so I think they make a good couple. Ryan's mom, Val, is a laid back country gal who likes hunting and trapping and is the epitome of everything earthy. I live in a small town. All there really is to do here is just fish, hunt, or hang out in the barn and have a few beers. Thank cool. you. I'm a get my hands dirty kind of gal. I'm very independent. I work in the garden. I do a lot of my own maintenance, and I can kill my own meat. Not everybody has a mom who's handy with a crossbow. Bullseye. Ooh. To describe my son, he makes me proud for him to call me mom. I think Becky, <laughs> she's extremely lucky to have found Ryan. These moms are from opposite ends of the spectrum. Val and I are nothing alike. I find Anita to be more of a city snob. Val is the country bumpkin. Anita's really fancy. She goes to the gym, she gets her nails done, she gets facials, and she loves to shop. I go to the grocery store to buy my organic meat. Val shoots her meat in the head. I'm very sociable, I'm organized. I'm just that little bit off. It seems there's no common ground when it comes to planning for these nuptials. We want to go away somewhere. Imagine Ryan and Becky running through the forest. He's carrying her. When you walk in, you think you've entered a castle. With his fedora and her flowing white gown on. A beautiful princess dress with a big skirt. But no shoes. And of course, the bling bling tiara on top. As a boulder's chasing him through the forest. <laughs> 
The simple chocolate and vanilla wedding cake. A three or a four tiered cake. A pig roast buffet. A five course meal. There's a band here in town. Has to be a DJ. They play everything from country to rock and roll to a polka. And I definitely don't want to hear one polka. No matter what tune our moms are dancing to, it's time for Gina to lay down the rules. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. I will present both of your visions to the couple. Only one mom's vision will be chosen, and this part is key. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. To take direction from Val would be probably the lowest of low that I could experience. Val, how are you feeling about this? Are you okay? I'm feeling all right about this because I know I'm going to win, and I can always use the help. Anita? I guess I have no choice. If I have to work with Val, I guess I have to work with her, but I'd like it better if she was working for me. May the best mom win. I'm going to try and do my best to win this so that Ryan and myself, we have a say and that we at least get what we want. My daughter is not getting married in a barn. That will never happen. No way, no how. I don't think these moms realize how difficult this is going to be. They have 48 hours to put this together. They're in it now. They can't back out. And we'll see what happens. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items to explain their wedding vision. I'm a little worried about Anita throwing the wedding because I think it'll cost a ton of money. My vision for my daughter's wedding is fairy tale, so I'm hoping to find some princess items. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. My daughter's getting married. Right, I'd love okay. to see the tiaras. Yep. Here. Oh, they're beautiful. This is the one that That's probably it. has the most volume. That's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I have to have it for my princess. Done. If Val was planning our wedding, she'd probably hold it on her farm. Anita's bling is the very opposite of what Val and her partner Ken are shopping for. I need some celery root. These cooked with the pig, perfect. I want some vine rope. I think it's important to bring this in so that everybody can actually have a sense of where we come from. Can you kind of hurry? Sorry to rush. The clocks run out. Time for the moms to show their visions to Gina. And both have agreed to a destination wedding that will make the couple happy. What is your vision? A rustic country outdoor wedding on a tropical island. Okay. Tropical fairy tale princess. This is the hat that I would love to have Ryan wear. The whole country boy kind of thing. I see a beautiful draped canopy with nice, soft, flowing fabric. Twinkle lights have to be a part of the decor. Tiki torches and some shells. Gourmet food. Pig roast. <laughs> Fruits and vegetables, you know, the potatoes, the tomatoes, everything, you know, that could be put on a grill. As goes for the cake, Ryan only likes vanilla, and Becky likes her chocolate. I would love to make it, just so that it's homemade. It's from my heart that it's something that I can give to them, that it's just from the country, and that explains who I am. Would you like to try a piece? Did you make it? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. I made it myself. Delicious. Okay. Sold. I need a tiered cake. It has to be at least this tall. I love live music. Has to be a DJ. As goes for the dress, I would like to see something with lace. Very soft, very romantic. And for the bride, my daughter Becky, I envision a beautiful princess gown with a big full skirt, some beautiful beading. I'd also like her to wear beautiful long gloves like Cinderella would. I would like to see do-it-yourself centerpieces. The final touch, a beautiful sparkling tiara. We have a lot to work with here, so let's put together a perfect presentation. And I wish you a lot of luck. Thank you. I really want to win this. My daughter won't let me down. She will pick my vision, and I will deliver it. Val's a little nervous, and then I met Anita, and I was a little nervous, because I think if Anita doesn't win, there's going to be a huge, huge war. It's time for Becky and Ryan to see what their moms have in mind for the big day. What the happy couple don't know is that both their mothers are watching and listening from a secret hiding place. Hi, you guys. Hello. Hi, Ryan. Good Hi. to see you again. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. 
You have to decide which one best represents you. Okay. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Right. Right. Okay. Are you ready to see the first presentation? Let's yeah. do it. Wow. Holy pink. Anita's vision is a tropical fairy tale princess wedding. It will take place in a tropical destination. You will arrive at your ceremony by horseback. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. The ceremony will take place under a pink and white chiffon canopy filled with twinkle lights and dramatic bright flowers. I definitely like the twinkle lights. It's very pretty. Becky, your dress would be very dramatic. Strapless with lots of bling around the waist okay. and a giant poofy skirt. It's pretty, but I think it'll be kind of hot for a destination wedding. You'll wear long gloves and a tiara. You'll have a DJ. You will not have a live band. We'd have a served four course dinner for you. Very elegant, very formal. Topped off with a four tier wedding cake. That's huge. <laughs> four tiers. Your vision's just way too fancy. That's what a wedding looks like. The centerpieces will be large vases filled with floating candles and very brightly colored flowers. That's very pretty. I love those flowers. The candles is a good touch too. Are you ready to see presentation number two? Yeah, I'm excited. Definitely. <laughs> this is amazing. Val's vision is an outdoor rustic country wedding in a tropical destination. This is so hillbilly. Because Val is from a small town, she'd like to have the wedding in a local village. The aisle would be filled with tiki torches and mason jars filled with candles to make it rustic and romantic. Ryan, you would wear the adventurer hat. That is almost as cool as the horses. <laughs> Becky, you would be in a lace gown off the shoulders, the skirt would be very long and flowing. You'll be switching to flip-flops later in the evening. Cool. Good for a tropical destination. Mary. Why don't you just get married in a bikini? Music. A live band, not a DJ. Val will pick the band. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the mustard? The menu. A very traditional down-home tropical buffet. Barbecue, jerk chicken, whole fish. Let's have a picnic in the backyard, shall we? Your mom will have her hand in all of this, including the menu. She may even be behind the grill. That would be amazing. Well, not for her, but for the food, it would be great. She's very into locally grown fruits and vegetables, topped off with a homemade wedding cake, vanilla and chocolate. Something for each of us. I like chocolate and you like vanilla. And Ryan, your mom actually made the cake. The centerpieces, do it yourself. It's interactive, so Val's thought was that people could really have their hand in creating these centerpieces. Arts and crafts. At a wedding. <laughs> yeah, do, 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 paint by numbers, yeah, yeah. My mom's vision is a lot more extravagant, whereas this one is just downscaled, but it's still very beautiful. Take some time to really think about the decision you're going to make. Good luck. Anita and Val are cut off while Becky and Ryan make their big decision. Which mom will be their wedding winner? I just think it's a little bit too much pink. I'm having trouble finding where things have been thrown in for me, and I don't even want to know how much it costs. I do really love the centerpieces, though. I love the orchids and the flowers and the candles together. It's all very elegant and very classy. I like that she's put a lot of effort into making it look like something that would make us proud to be there and make, make for a, a great event. But this is a tropical thing. Like, I'm going to be sitting in a suit all day in, in the blazing sun. Like, yeah. Does that work? That's what I'm not excited about is the dress, although it is very pretty. And I do love the rhinestone belts across it that she had said. The fullness, I just don't think it's fitting for a destination wedding. It is really nice looking, though. I think she was going with the princess theme, right? So everything is very extravagant and including the dress. Despite the couple things that I'm really a little bit unsure of, I really do think my mom did an amazing job of Definitely. putting together this theme for us because it's really down to earth. I've never had your mom's cake before. It's pretty good actually. Here, try some. I want some of the chocolate. The chocolate? Okay, well I'll eat this. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. This whole live band thing that's still killing me. I don't want to be listening to country all night. I love live music, but... Maybe I'm... I can play. <laughs> yeah, you'd be about as good as the band my mom chooses. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. Live music always gets the crowd going. I am 
really worried about it, though. I think we kind of know which direction we're going in. Do you want to tell Gina? I think I can do it. I don't know if I would feel so confident in telling the decision to our moms. I can man up. I got this one. Okay. Hopefully the moms don't take it too hard. Yeah. Have you made your decision? We have. Well, wait. Don't tell me. Tell your moms. <gasps> Becky, Ryan, your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. <laughs> so please tell us, what is your decision? Well, I think that we've decided to go with... my mom's vision. <laughs> I just can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> Woo! Honestly, this feels better than shooting a deer. You think you're gonna be all right, Mom? I thought it was what you wanted, but I guess I was wrong. Sorry, Mom. I've never had any luck telling my mom what to do, so good luck to Val. I don't plan to take this assistant business lying down. Congratulations, Val. Thank you. <laughs> Remember, the couple chose your vision, so it's important that that's what you deliver. Let's go. I'm ready. And Anita, you're going to be Val's wedding assistant. You'll be helping her pull the wedding together. Anita is probably going to be one of the worst wedding assistants ever. All right, moms, we've got one week to plan this wedding. Let's get to work. I'll make sure I sneak something in there that will throw Val on her side and have her head spinning. I can't believe I'm going on an island with these people. Yeah! First stop is all about taking care of the wedding menu. How does this store have anything to do with a wedding? Don't worry about it, it'll be fine. Are we going camping? I've never been camping. I certainly don't want to go camping, and especially not for my daughter's wedding. This is what I need to cook. I can grill on this, chicken and fish on here. I'd like to make sure that I have all the right equipment just in case it's not there. And you're gonna grill it in your beautiful dress. Yes, and you're gonna be doing up some burgers. Oh, no, no, that's not happening. Anita. If you wanna get smoke in your hair and in your clothes, I won't. Stop being such a city snob and just do what I'm nope, asking you sorry. to do. And if not, you know what? You're gonna ruin everything for everybody. And if that's what you want to do for your daughter, then so be it. But this is what we're going to do. Anita's being a little bit of a pain in my She's done nothing but give me a hard time since I've started this. Anita, your attitude really sucks. I want to be the hostess to the people who are there, not the shorter to cook. As Anita recovers from her aversion to cooking, the moms shop for Val's do-it-yourself centerpieces. Val, I don't even know what we're doing here. How can we possibly be doing arts and crafts at a wedding? This is what's going to be our centerpieces. So can you work with me? I can't believe that my daughter voted for this vision. What are your favorite paint colors? Hey, how about bright fuchsia? No. Pink's good? No. This is stupid. It's not stupid. Just work with me. You're my assistant, so I really need you to be on your toes and do what I ask. Oh, glitter. There you go. Here's one for you there. Could you load me up any more? OK, I'm going to try. Here you go. OK, let's go put some glitter on these centerpieces. I'm just happy to put them down. Do you want to see the silver, or would you like just gold? Come on, Anita, we can do this. Think of it this way, memories. What do you see for yours? Flowers? Oh, it's a surprise. What are you doing? That looks like a kindergarten kid did it. You know what? I never claim to be creative. This is your gig, not mine. See how breezy this kind of looks? Look at the color. Do another one. Try a little bit harder. You want color? How's that? Oh. There Anita, we go. come on. Oh, oh, this is fantastic. There that? we go. Oh. Are you going to work with me at all? I'm done. I showed her exactly what my talent was. It's just a complete disgrace. That just shows no respect for me or even what I'm trying to accomplish. Tempers are flaring, but the moms hold it together because Becky's most important element for the wedding is next. Val, I just want you to know today, I'm not helping you pick dresses. I'm picking my own dresses, and that's just the way it'll be. I'm sick of your attitude. You do yours, and I'll be fine. I will be doing my own thing. Good.
Luckily, Becky can't witness the bickering because she's blindfolded. She won't see her dress until the big wedding day. And it's Val's decision. Okay, Beck, I found the most beautiful dresses for you to try, and you gotta try these on. You love Anita, the material? Anita, Anita. You love everything about them. Stop. I'm the winner. My theme. Your theme sucks. She's wrong. You know what, Val? You know what? I'm not wrong. Stop. Both of you need to cool it because, Mom, you need to let it go. I don't know why you're making it about you. We chose Val's theme. We need to try on her dresses today. Not even one? Please. Not one. Mom, you're stop dr arguing. Please. Dresses. You know what? I'm out of here. Well, Becky, here's the dresses, and they're going to be beautiful. I'm not surprised that my mom and Val aren't getting along. She's kind of being the sore loser. Wow. Oh, right. my God, that is the most hideous dress I've ever seen in my life. What's that thing on the shoulder? That's Becky, a flower. it's disgusting. An island flower. It's absolutely disgusting. It makes you look like you're a whale. Should How not be. you say that makes her Val? look like that? It's ugly. I'm so frustrated because my mom and Val keep arguing, and it's just stressing me out. This Please. is just the first one. Well, I hope you have more because this one ain't cutting it. Cutting. I would die before I let her wear that. <gasps> Wow, this is perfect. It makes her figure look great. Everything about this, it's beautiful. I have one word for it, yuck. Her attitude, it just sucks. I just can't believe that she's going this far. If it continues like this, the wedding will be a disaster. Wow, that's beautiful. Imagine this with the breeze. It's beautiful. No, it's, it's not. Once oh, again, you've struck out Anita, Three times, Anita. I think you're out of here. No, nope, this is perfect. There's no way in hell that you're putting my daughter in this wedding dress. Anita, you have been in my face all day. It's done. My decision will be one of the last two dresses that we've seen. There's this no way. is not crap. I'm going to disappoint this her is not and the rest of my family because Anita. this is unacceptable. Do you know what, ladies? I've Everybody's had it. Gonna Stop. Laugh. I've had it. I want to be done with this. This is my day. You keep ruining it, and this is supposed to be about me. I want the dress off, the blindfold off. I'm out of here. You guys are driving me crazy. Nice one, Val. Hope you're happy. Hello, Gina. I'm calling Gina because right now I'm having an awful time, and that's not what I signed up for. I just called to tell you that I'm done. I have no bride. I have no assistant. I think I have a dress, but really, I don't even know where I'm going or what I'm doing anymore. This is absolutely turned into a nightmare. Everything will fall apart unless Gina can save the big day. I'm here to check on Becky. It sounded like she doesn't even want to get married anymore. I've never heard you as upset as I did when you called me. Are you OK? Well, no. <laughs> After what happened yesterday, it was absolutely chaotic. It was my mom and Val. I had arguments coming at me from all angles. I just felt ugly and out of place. And my mom even told me that I looked like a whale. What? I know. The two of them arguing has just brought a whole nother stress level to this that I can't take anymore. I was up here before, I was so excited, and now I'm just crashing. I just have no faith anymore, I'm done. You have to understand, your mom is extremely angry. She lost. Val won, it's Val's vision, but I really need you on board here. Val picked you out a beautiful gown. I saw it, it's perfect. I will deal with Val and Anita, just you deal with making yourselves happy. As long as Gina can make you happy, then we can do it. You guys have to do it. As long as you can take care of them, because I don't even want to talk to them at this point. Focus on packing, focus on each other, focus on something else. I will fix this. Just promise me you'll be on that plane. We can promise that. All right. Thanks, Gina. Good luck with that. With two days before the wedding, Gina meets with the moms before there's more turbulence. I have never seen Becky so upset. I had to talk to Val and Anita. I just left Becky. I had to talk her off the ledge. What happened? The problem is that Val's vision is totally out there. And the dresses? I wouldn't be caught dead in those dresses. We're going camping, we're cooking our own food, we're doing arts and crafts. Who does that at a wedding, Gina? That's that is why ridiculous. I want. No. Anita, did you call Becky a whale? Okay, 
I did? Yes, her own daughter. I meant the dress that thou picked made her look But you would never call your daughter. Really you should is. never call your daughter a it's whale. It's the dress. OK, girls. It's two days before the wedding. You've got to get your act together, or this wedding is not going to happen. Anita, I know your dream is for Becky to be a princess on her wedding day. We're here at my favorite bridal gown and accessory store. I want you to go upstairs. Bling it out. The tiara, yes. the bracelet, the necklace, Perfect. do it up. Whatever's Perfect. up there, you can have. I awesome. honestly don't know why Gina's giving Anita any leeway to get to do anything. I mean, it's not her theme, it's mine. And to top it off, at this destination, if you can find a horse, we will have Becky ride to the ceremony on horseback. Woo! Yes, baby! But that's it, that's all you get. It's Val's dress. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a sick horse, doesn't it? How the heck is Ryan and Becky even going to ride in on a horse? Like, I'm not even sure if they even know how to ride a horse. I need you to grab the accessories, get to the airport, and when you get off that plane, Val, you have two days to plan this entire wedding, OK? I'm out of here. Now get going. I had to give Anita something. They were never going to play nice. Ay, ay, ay. Anita's now in charge and takes Val on a shopping spree for everything bling. Can you step up there for me? Why? I want to look at my blank canvas. Time for you to be a princess. I bet you can hardly wait. Oh, I'm counting the moments. I found the most beautiful things here. I found a birdcage hairpiece. Oh my god. How about some beads? I think Becky would look beautiful in these. Pearl necklace. This is princess all the way. But it's not a princess theme. This is the bling bling I'm talking about. These might work a little better. I found big dangly earrings with lots of bling. This is just wrong in every way. Oh, Val, what would a princess be without a garter on her wedding day? Oh, hot, hot, baby, hot. I love accessories. Here we go, a little bling bling over here. See, this is Perfect. why you didn't win. I got this beautiful jacket for you over here. You can't be serious about oh, this. Oh, I'm serious. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Every princess needs a glass slipper. Try these on. Oh, my. In a mean kind of way, I'm getting back at her for what she's done to me. You might have to hold on. With all this crap on, I might fall over. She thinks I look like a princess. She's out of her mind. Becky's going to look, well, ridiculous. And the final crowning glory. The beautiful veil. You can't really. I am so loving the veil. This is why you didn't win. This is true princess material. Maybe not all the things together, but true elements for a princess that my Freak daughter show. would Freak love. Show. Now that Anita's had her little accessory fun, maybe she'll have that out of her system and we can actually get down to work now. As Becky and Ryan enjoy the sun, Gina knows it'll take more than mojitos to make Val's wedding vision a reality. Welcome to the Bahamas. Hi, Gina. Hi, how are Cheers. you? I see you've already started celebrating. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Becky and Ryan, enjoy yourselves. Girls, hand over your drinks. We have so much work to do. No, really? Already? Finish See you up. later. First on the list, Val has to find the wedding venue. Val, where are you taking us? Well, I'm looking for the right spot. Where are um, we going to have a wedding in here, Val? We're looking. Yeah. We're looking. We'll look um, till the cows come home. Val, I think we went a little off the radar. Why don't yeah. you go around? Let's go towards the water. Go How around this way, Val. OK. I will find the perfect spot. Yeah. In oh, this yeah. bush? I don't think so. Wow. This is what I want. This is perfect. This is my vision. The turquoise water, the beach, the sand, it's perfect. And there's even a building for her rustic village theme. Val, I know you love it. There are a thousand things wrong with this place. You cannot have a horse here, and you can't have a pig roast. And I get a horse, so there's no way I'm not having my horse. I see no way to get the guests here. The bride can't come this way. No I will. Way in hell is Becky trekking through this forest. Uh, you being the wedding planner, can you make this happen for me? Can you do this somehow? I can make the ceremony work here. The biggest problem is I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to get the bride here. There is no path. There is no place for her to walk. I can't get her here to her own ceremony. So I have to think of something. 
All right, girls, let's get started. We have a lot to do. All right, let's bring people here. Let's get people here for the rehearsal. Okay. You girls head to the market, and I'm going to scout out a dinner spot. OK. All right? All right. Let's go. Two hours, girls. This is the worst possible scenario for a wedding planner. It has just turned into a full blown out nightmare. Hi, hey, ladies. How, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? I'm all right. How right. can I help you ladies today? I'm cooking fish at my son's wedding. Okay. And my daughter. Don't forget my daughter. I need fish for 20 people. I need a variety. So, what do you got to give me? I can give you guys on if you want to come now. Awesome. Let me show you what I got. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. What's your best fish? Lane snapper. And this yeah, one? Yeah, Margaret Fisher. OK. These are the larger ones. These are the smaller snappers. Barracudas. Oh, barracuda. This is gross. Anita, you're feeding this at the wedding? We're on the island. Fish are disgusting. How about filet mignon? My wedding, my plan, my theme, this is what I want. I want some fish. It's time for me to put up and Anita to shut up. Seriously. We'll go with? Red snapper. Snobbers. Yep, some red snapper and? Some margarine fish. Yeah. Everything is going to stink like fish. My dress, Becky's dress, I can't even believe that I might have to cook it, and I'm dreading every minute of serving this at the wedding. Well, wow. that's a big bag of fish. Yeah. Trust wow. me, you guys will enjoy it. Next on the list, the rehearsal. If the guests can ever get there. Come on, guys. It's this way. Our guests Woo. are really going down this hill? Are you kidding me? Oh, gee, you're so nice to help me, Val. <laughs> We could be in a beautiful atmosphere, but no, we're trekking through the Is this not jungle. beautiful? It's this crap, Val. Oh, shut up. How much further is this? Right here, Just, we're almost here. I think I'm going to pass out. I am dying. I ain't carrying you. Go figure. Is there anything else you got to complain about? I have much more to come, my friend. I can't believe we're in a place where our guests have to trek to get to my daughter's wedding. I'm so frustrated. Look at guys, isn't this awesome? The water, the sun, the sand. You know what, Val? Look at it. It's not half bad. Thank you. It's much better than I thought it would be. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. Thank you. Oh. Woo! <laughs> okay, guys, follow me. Let's run the rehearsal. Val and Ken, you're gonna walk to the center. Okay. And then veer off right here. My best man and my maid of honor. And you'll be facing him. And Anita and Leo, you're gonna be walking in with Becky? Yes. You can go straight, straight up the middle. All right, perfect. Look at the person across from you. That's where you should be standing tomorrow. OK, let's get married. Yeah. Yeah. With waves crashing and the Caribbean sun setting, the rehearsal dinner is underway. Honestly, we have no idea where the moms have been all day. We still don't have any idea as to what is going on, where we're going to be, what I'm going to be wearing. I know there's been a lot of hard work, especially from both of our mothers put into this. And we are very grateful because we just didn't have a whole lot of time to put into this. I'm going to cry. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, like Ryan said, we appreciate everybody coming tonight. And we look forward to having you there to celebrate with us tomorrow. Thank you again, everybody, for coming. Yeah. It really means a lot to us. They're counting on you. I know. And you. And I'm there for you. Good. As much as I haven't been, push comes to shove, I'm there. <laughs> Anita, she really has to be there for me tomorrow. If not, then everything's just going to fall apart. It's the morning of the wedding, and while Gina gets to work building the ceremony site, there's one wedding element that can't be avoided any longer, the dress. Hopefully, she likes the one Val picked out. Guys, I'm really nervous. I really want to see what this looks like. I want the dress off, the blindfold off. I'm out of here. You guys are driving me crazy. All right, I'm going for it. I'm taking it off. So what do you think? Beautiful. <laughs> Love it. I was a little bit worried, but it's... Gorgeous. This dress is beautiful. It's more than I could have ever imagined. I am so excited that Becky loves her dress. I'm speechless, even myself. Even though I didn't pick the dress, uh, seeing Becky's reaction really did make me feel good. Honey, I think you look beautiful, but I have one more big surprise. To complete your outfit, a beautiful veil. Does it look Once nice? your hair is out, it looks nice. And these. 
I hope you like them. They're beautiful. I think the veil looks beautiful with the dress and the earrings set everything off. She looks amazing. Wow, I look great. <laughs> you sure do. They're lovely. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. To be honest, I didn't really love my mom's accessories, but I had to pretend that I did just for her sake, and I know it made her happy. Guys, I hate to break up this moment, but now we have to figure out how we're going to get her there. How did they not have a plan for me to get to my own wedding? Val, you better figure it out, because this has to happen. We're working on it. I'm really freaking out right now because I still don't know how I'm getting to my wedding ceremony, and it's just too much for me to handle. With that, it's a mad dash to the venue to prep and figure out how to get the bride to the beach. These are heavy. Val, okay. this is still your vision. All right. So the tiki torches, the mason jars, we have to secure that palm on that okay. arch. Let's make sure we secure these in. It's pretty windy here. Val? Yeah. Let's put that one in that back right. This one? Just so it covers, yeah, the wood right there. OK. Anita, hurry up and get those shelves. I'm coming. Relax. relax. Just what? put them in between. Come on, relax. Mary. We're running relax. out of time. Where do you want them? Along the aisle. We'll just make sure that this walkway is rock free. Gina, this is all well and good, but we won't have a wedding without the bride. What's going on with the bride? I'll get the bride here. You girls have 20 minutes. I need you to finish the finishing touches. I need you to get dressed. Leave the bride to me. As the guests make their way down the beach, ready or not, it's time for the wedding. There's the moms and Ryan, but there's one important person missing. Now we just need the bride. Oh, there she is. There she is. It may not be a horse, but it's got a lot of horse power since getting a real horse through the dense jungle proved troublesome. Now with the bride and despite all the bickering, Ryan and Becky's wedding can commence. Val walks down the aisle with her partner, Ken. Here comes Anita, Becky's dad, Leo, and the bride. Ryan and Rebecca, you have told me and you have told others that your love for one another is the most amazing gift that you have received. Ryan and Rebecca, a good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having mutual sense of values and objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is form forming a cycle that gathers in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. Never allow anything to be more important than you and your pledge to spend your life together. Remember that the secret to a long and healthy marriage is not in choosing the right partner, but in being the right partner. Now, Ryan, I must ask you, would you have Rebecca for your wedded wife? I will. Rebecca, would you receive Ryan for your wedded husband? Heck yes. <laughs> <laughs> With this ring? With this ring? I the wed. I the wed. Put it on. With this ring? With this ring? I the wed. I the wed. Put it on. <laughs> it is now, therefore, my joyful pleasure to acknowledge you in the eyes of the law as husband and wife. Congratulations. And sir, you may now perform your first official task as a husband and kiss your wife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay, we're married! <laughs> we're married, yeah. I don't know what to say, but, you know, that was good. My daughter was a perfect bride. She wasn't a princess bride, I'll give you that but she was a beautiful bride. Stunning. And my son, the hat, said it all. 
Gina really pulled it off in the last hour. She found a boat. She brought my daughter here. Big props to Gina. She was awesome. You imagine yourself getting married, but you never imagine it'll be this beautiful. Couldn't have asked for a better day. <laughs> Yee freaking haul. <laughs> Not so fast, Val. Next, it's pig roast out, fish barbecue in at the reception. Hey, Val, what are we doing? We need to put some fish on. It smells. No, 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 no. Stinks. All right, here you go. Oh, that's yours? Whew. I'm going to stink like fish. I'll give you a spritz of perfume. How am I doing? You're doing good. Now maybe try and flip your fish. Flip it over. <laughs> See, isn't this fun? Oh, yay. <laughs> over here, fresh fish. That smells good. Mm. We didn't get our pig roast in the end, but the fish was absolutely amazing. It was delicious. Everybody loved it. We did it! Woo! Wasn't so bad, was it? Yeah, but I stink. This is by far the most adventurous wedding that I've ever been a part of. This really brought both moms together. They worked so hard, and there's a new love there. On behalf of Ryan and myself, we would like to thank everybody for coming to our beautiful wedding celebration that we've had here in the Bahamas. Moms, you guys raw. We couldn't have done a better job ourselves. You guys worked together, and you pulled off a beautiful event for everybody to enjoy. Props. It's all about you, my friends. Love you. Cheers, Val. Cheers. Party on, guys. Everything's been amazing from start to finish. The rustic village, walking down the aisle to the fresh fish on the barbecue. The live music turned out to be a great hit amongst everybody, and it turned out to be better than a DJ. Everything has been amazing. I wasn't really sure about Val's homemade centerpiece creation thingamajigs, but they turned out to be great, and all the guests had a lot of fun making them. I didn't get my horse. But guess what? I got to come in on a boat, which is going super fast. If you're happy, I'm happy. And we're all happy. This was definitely a difficult venue. It was hard to pull Val's vision off, but in the end, she almost got everything she wanted. It was a beautiful affair. Your cake looks amazing, Mom. This looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We were like this, and now we're like this. We're a big, happy family. It's been great. Good. It's just the perfect ending for Becky and Ryan. I would like to say, Ye frickin' ha. <laughs> <laughs>Desiree and Matt are a fun-loving couple who prove opposites attract. <laughs> Matt tends to be shy when he doesn't know you. Desiree is um, very outgoing, lots of energy. <laughs> Can you please hurry up? I'm ready and you're not. <sighs> What's wrong? You're a turtle. Really busy. You could help. Just got to put my shoes on. Oh my god, are you kidding? Matt and I met five years ago. At the time, I had a boyfriend, but turns out he swept me off my feet. Once I realized she was it, I went in for the kill. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of a wedding ring do you want? Gold and diamonds. A couple years ago, I fake proposed with the candy ring. It didn't go over too Hilarious. well. <laughs> Hilarious joke, by the way. But uh, this time, I put the real engagement ring into the candy wrapper. More than candy, fortunately. <laughs> Good boy. Matt and Desiree live at Matt's mom's house. Could I have a little bit more peanut butter, please? Content and taken sure. care of, Matt's happy to stay put. I'd love to see you taking more of an interest in this wedding. I'm stressing about my dress and the food. As long as there's food and drink, I'm happy. So much to get organized. The reason we're getting married now is because we're moving into our home so soon, which we're very excited about. I know I want to spend the rest of my life with her, so there's no putting off the inevitable. Romantic. <laughs> Romance or not, there won't be a wedding without Gina's professional help. Desiree and Matt are getting married, and I'm here to help them. But there are a few details that they don't know about just yet. I'm here to make your wedding day dreams come true. We'd appreciate the help, <laughs> definitely. There is one condition, though. You need to hand over complete control of your wedding. The place, theme, venue, the menu, to one of your mothers. But not every detail, like I can pick my dress and maybe the colors and that sort of thing just to make <gasps> sure. Even dress. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Serious. Oh. 
Oh, boy. Which mother? Well, you'll get to choose. OK. Are you prepared to do this? Let's give it a go. So I guess, I guess we could work with it, maybe. So let's go get married. Yay. All right. <laughs> Desiree, I don't think, really had a grasp on giving total control to the moms and what it meant. Matt seems pretty easy breezy. It's definitely going to be a struggle. Bring on the moms. Desiree's mom, Lorette, is all about appearances, fashion, and design. She likes to be in control, and she's not shy about sharing her opinion with her only daughter, Desiree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sort of a type A personality, or so I've been told. I like looking classically elegant so that when you go into a store, people ask you if you would like some help instead of ignoring you. Lorette's very much the person who's in charge. I can apparently be somewhat intimidating. She opened her arms to me uh, from the first time we met. So the first time he showed up, he brought a gift. He didn't speak, and every time since then, for about three years, he would bring gifts, but he wouldn't speak. My mom, Lorette, is a phenomenal lady. We've got a big Christmas party coming up for the parenting class. She's organized. I like things to be neat and orderly. I like everything to be color-coded. I have all the pillows in order. My closet, all the grays are in one area and the reds are in the other. I like the cleanness of it. She's who I would like to be in a number of years with a few minor tweaks. <laughs> Matt's mom, Anne, is all for country home cooking and cozy family comfort. I have a special snack for you. I am very casual. That's me, because I know that if I'm going to have my grandchildren and children around to have fun at my place, that's the way I need to be. Anne is a free spirit. I've been married a long time. Got married when I was 12. No, <laughs> no, I've been married for 40 years. There's no common ground between these moms. We're completely different. Anne's style, I would say, is more country, cozy, comfortable. Lorette is more into the city life. In her house, you could just come in and put your feet up so on the couch, and you know, it's, it's all good, dogs and animals. It's small children, if they drop things on the floor, that's OK. Fishy kiss. Mm -hmm. It's been great having Desiree and Matthew live here. She looks really pretty. Anne loves it because she's bonding. I'm getting to know her really well. <laughs> I'm so excited. She's like a daughter to me. I'm not so crazy about it. I miss having Des around. These families have very different views on the big day. Something that's a bit out of the ordinary. Very traditional. Lights and sparkle. Chocolate, chocolate everywhere. Very sophisticated, chic. Jackie Onassis. <laughs> she overthinks every, every aspect of design. Dark earthy tones, huh. simple, elegance, chic. Maybe some candied apples, beaver tails. It would be absolutely dramatic if Matt and Desiree came into the wedding on two horses. Oops. Does Matt even know what he wants? Main course, beef, chicken, um, salad, dessert. With so many conflicting ideas, it's time for Gina to lay down some rules. Moms, you have two days to put together your vision of what you would love your children's wedding day to be. One mom's idea will be chosen. Um, this should be interesting. The losing mom will have to help the winning mom with planning out the entire wedding. Wow. OK. OK. <laughs> I was having a hard time digesting it all. You're doing everything. So you would even be responsible for picking my dress, planning the I guest list. I didn't even do that for my own wedding. Well, this is this is it. <laughs> this okay, is what you I'm, have I'm to do. Yep. This will be a real test. I am not a good follower. I'm also a pretty determined person. So we're all on board? I'm good with it. For sure. OK. So may the best mom win. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever Desiree and Matt decide on, they're going to have to live with that for the rest of their lives. And the whole idea of assisting doesn't work for me. I'm a born leader. I'm a Leo. <sighs> See me roar. Lorette, soon we will be in-laws. But until then, it's in-law wedding wars. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items that explain their wedding vision. No, 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 no. 
I'm a bit concerned. Uh, my mom's very detail-oriented. I'm worried that she won't focus on the bigger picture um, and get caught up in all of these nitty-gritty details that will overwhelm her. Dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and then sort of a cappuccino kind of color. You told me that those are good for weddings, right? They're popular for weddings? They're very classy as well. If Anne were to plan the wedding, I can picture things that maybe are outdated. <laughs> Love that. Dazzling. Maybe things that wouldn't be my choice. Two kissing doves, the bride and groom. I love these candied apples. They're such a dark, brilliant red. Gina will present the mom's visions to the couple. One mom will win, the other will lose. I really appreciate it. She's the person that worries about the dress and everything. I'm just there to have a good time. Ready or not, it's time for the moms to show their stuff. How are I just you? Put all these oh glittery things down. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw some things on the table until I get a little organized here. Okay. What's your vision here? Black and white wedding. Okay. Very dramatic, with crimson red as an accent color, and with some nature. Bring it to life, like a winter wonderland. Can we move your, uh, your yeah. binder there? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. This is a full-blown concept work. This is fantastic. Lots of sparkle. Chocolate, sort of Jackie Kennedy. The idea that chocolate is very regal. Some fudge. Classy. Some candied apples. Beaver tails. Something that's tasty and lovely and just like love itself. This is the cake. You're thinking cupcakes and then just one token cake that they could right, cut. Right, one on. token cake. I love that. It's different. We have chocolate bars that have Matt and Desiree's names on them. OK. When they're lit up, they are, like, glorious. Spectacular. Some natural lighting, but a lot of sparkle. The wedding dress. The black ribbon accentuates her waist. It'll complement her figure. So like a white chocolate? Yeah, white chocolate. Mm. These are fantastic. Long, tall ones in the vases with some roses and those sparkles in them. You're thinking like high centerpieces. High. Rather than have a lot of flowers that interrupt conversation, you just have a nice flickering candle that sets the ambiance for that sort of classy affair. The Piece de resistance. I want pearls like draped everywhere. This kind of is the whole wedding, right? Diamonds are tacky, too glittery, and not the classy, elegant look that we're going for. The glittery, razzle dazzle ball. So, disco ball. With all of this, my head is sort of spinning. We have tons to work with. Let me put together the perfect presentation for Desiree and Matt, and hopefully they'll love it too. Lots of luck. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. I think I might just win this. I don't know if Desiree and Matt are gonna go for either of these pitches. Both visions need refining. I've got my work cut out for me. There's no competition, basically, between the two of us. It's, it's over. Lorette has to worry about the razzle-dazzle in me. I'm still picking glitter off of everything. <laughs> it's time for Desiree and Matt to judge their mom's hard work. Nervous? Very nervous. It's a big thing. What the happy couple don't know is that both their mothers are watching and listening from a secret hiding place. They're looking a little worried. Behind these screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. Now you two have to decide which one best represents you. My goodness, we're in trouble. <laughs> Are you ready to see what one of your weddings could be? Definitely. Definitely. Oh, wow. Jump. So much to take in. Very sparkly. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> hey, really. <laughs> I know I'm a little country, but that's, that's kind of crazy. Oh. Hay? Candy apples on hay. Nice, that's classy. So the theme for this wedding is winter wonderland in the country. Mm. Country <laughs> elegance. Sparkles are, are wonderful. What? In a barn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give it a chance, Dizzle. Give it a chance. I like the colors. Very festive, very warm. Definitely like that. Yeah. Hot chocolate. Candy apples as favors. They're something you don't see at every wedding, so it's different, and I like that. Good, Matt. Rather than a traditional wedding cake, cupcakes. Oh. How about Sue, the cutest ring bearer ever? Why not? If you have hay, you might as well have a dog. Now, your gown is very classic, very elegant. 
definitely some sort of black sash. I do like the dramatic black sash idea, but I was never in the market for something with sequins or bling at the top. I'm open to the black sash. Great. I love the overall vibe that I'm getting from this. How about we take a look at the next presentation? Definitely. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very different. It's like night and day. <laughs> totally different. So it is a absolute chocolate themed wedding fit for Jackie O. Don't like that idea at all. A little more contemporary, but definitely classic. The color scheme would be shades of chocolate. So the history of chocolate explained in cards that would be on the dinner tables. We're sure it's not chocolate overkill. <laughs> what? Never too much chocolate. We have a really pretty low arrangement filled with candles, so bringing a lot of warmth to the space. The candles are, are pretty subdued. Uh, I would prefer something more dramatic. Oh. These we thought were great rather than a guest book. Polished stones. People could actually sign their names on them. That's could, neat. And your wedding gown. Strapless, elegant. A good bit of work here, embroidery, um, some detail, lots and lots of detail actually, but definitely cinched in, strapless, with an A-line sort of ball gown silhouette. That sounds great too. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> this would be more or less a traditional wedding cake. The colors, I'm not too sure about. No, 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 it's fantastic. Well, it sounds like you guys have a lot to discuss. We do. I'll leave you for a few minutes. When I get back, you'll give me your decision. Okay. All right. I'll try. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think? Lorette and Anne are cut off while Desiree and Matt decide which of their moms will be the wedding winner. Okay. So, I hope we find out soon. They're both great in their own ways. Um, I don't know what we're going to decide. I have to get past the purple and brown. I definitely like the cupcake idea. Me too. The sparkle is really fitting for the season, too. I feel confident. OK. Once we've made our decision, who's going to break the news to our moms? You have a way with words that will both make them feel comforted <laughs> in whoever's we don't choose. I don't want to hurt anybody. And I think you should mm. just recognize that it's my special day. The bride and has all the tough decisions. <laughs> the hard work. It's all on you. Period. <laughs> End of discussion. <laughs> okay, guys. Deep breath. <sighs> it's time. We're okay with that. We've made our decision and it wasn't easy, but we're firm on our decision. Okay, guys. Don't tell me. Okay. Tell your moms. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be hard. So Desiree and Matt, what you don't know is that your moms have been backstage watching and listening to all of your comments. We did. I'm sorry for anything hurtful that we said. It's OK. I'm going to leave you guys to tell them who you decided on. OK. All right, come on. I'm going to let Matt take this one. <laughs> we really do like them both. There's certain aspects of each that are not our favorites, as you are well aware. We're waiting. <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> um, so after some talking. Lots of back and forth. Mm -hmm. We have decided to go with. Lorette's plan. <laughs> you are kidding. This is the biggest thing since sliced bread. I couldn't be any more excited about planning for my daughter's wedding. <laughs> Don't cry. We love you. I'm so sorry. Don't cry. I am pretty shocked. To be really honest with you, I am. It's OK. Though, you know, you have to go with punches, right? And we still want you to be a big part of the wedding. OK. Matthew, oh. keep going. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Don't cry, OK? Uh, a little bit upset. Breaking the news to my mom was hard. 
I had an awful feeling in my stomach and I was just thinking, I'm about to marry into this family and I don't want Matt's mom to hate me for the rest of my life. I mean, that's beautiful, right? It's quite unusual. A little busy. But we need you to be on board because this is what our wedding's going to look like. Right. Lorette, congratulations. Thank you. You both did a magnificent job, but you're to be Lorette's assistant throughout the wedding planning process. Yes. I hope that you can work together. We're good with this, right? You are. We're oh, good with it. It's I'm thinking good. about it. I'm not a pushover at all. If I don't like an idea, she's going to hear about it. <laughs> what, 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 what? You, you want me to be your be assistant? Good. That you want I be do. Your assistant? Please. Be a little nicer. Lorette is pretty good. driven, pretty assertive, um, and she likes the idea that she's now going to be in charge. It's her daughter's wedding, but Anne, uh, she's got a strong way about her, and uh, I think she's going to give her a run for her money. With less than a week till the big day, it's time to tackle Desiree's biggest desire, the dress. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding dress. And That's whatever enough. decision Enough's Lorette makes, enough. Desiree Enough's is going to have to live out. with. Out. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. Oh, this is the one. <gasps> this is the one. Uh, no, that'll make her, no. No, 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 Because no, no, no. we have the same figure, and that would be... That's what you think? You have the same figure as well, Desiree? Well, she's taller, but... I think I should get a choice here. What about this? I don't know, though. It might be too like much. That one. We'll keep that one in mind. And give There's it a so try, Lorette. You have from. to be a little bit more open. Desiree is blindfolded. She won't get to see her dress until her wedding day. Oh, yeah. It's all on her Very mom, Lorette. Princess. Look at that. Oh, as it comes down the aisle, that's fantastic. Very princess. It doesn't seem like something that would be me. You're, an, it, you're not you. It's your wedding day, for heaven's sakes. You're, you're a princess for a day. I'd like to try another. I'm not feeling it. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. I think it's a little flowery around parts hard. of it. Teeny tiny little waist, the way it all, it's very regal. It really is. I'm glad you have me here to assist you because you need a little bit of like mm. some honesty here. Give it to me. What's the honesty? I hate it. And I think the sooner you get that off, the better. Ouch. This is ridiculous. Like I'm fuming. Ooh, that's the one I picked. Quite beautiful. No. No, it's like almost like a mini skirt. Well, it's just I tried. Barmaidy. We don't do bling. Bling is not our thing. Your mom's in charge. Welcome to my life. <laughs> well, that is pretty. No. Thoughts? I think it's too high. Absolutely sensational. I don't know who to trust. It's not a oh. wedding dress. Oh, the back smashing on you. It's all good. It's all good. A little too much. It seems a bit ridiculous that I tried on like 20 dresses. I'm exhausted and I'm frustrated and I'm just annoyed and I don't even know if it's gonna work out. Fantastic, yeah. It's pretty plain. Haven't we figured it out already, ladies? No, 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 I've got it. I've made my decision. I'm good, okay, that's it. You don't have to try on any more. All right, or are we not gonna chat about this? Obviously, it doesn't seem really important what I have to say. I am trying hard to be your assistant. Do it your thing and I think I'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay, well, I do need your help with other things. I just wanted to wait outside because I needed to take a breather. My mom, I just am worried that she'll buy something that would suit her, but not me. I don't want to look like my mom. Bottom line is, bride's mother, mother knows best. With the big day looming, the moms dip into Lorette's inspiration for the chocolate-covered wedding. Come on this way. And I really, really need your help here. This has a, like a phenomenal selection. Because of the, the huge variety of them, I couldn't possibly discern between one or the other, you know, the ambiance, the aroma. Chocolates, chocolate, it's this delicious. This is not chocolate. This is, this is Nirvana. Just have a bite of that one. Oh, this one's made mm. with some wine. <gasps> Mango, if you would try that one. Do I have to try this one too? Of course. She wasn't very responsive. She wanted to help. Come on, help. I want you to try this one here. <laughs> Give me a moment, girl. Uh, you're not driving, right? Right now, <laughs> no, today? No, I'm not okay, driving, Lorette. These are filled with whiskey and passion fruit. Think with you, I need the whiskey. Uh, this was a wonderful opportunity for her to have some fun and we could hopefully bond. Don't you uh, think we've tried enough, Lorette? 
Brett, it's chocolate. No, no, it's not. It's Everyone the likes it's the center core. It's the theme. It's everything about the whole thing. It's it's pivotal. With Lorette, I've had more chocolate stuffed down my throat in this short time here than I have had for the last year. I'm certainly not going to eat all these chocolates. I've got a dress to get into. Lorette wants her vision to be seen through to the letter. We're just gonna go down here for an outfit for you. It'll for be me? For you. I think I can dress myself. Let's go. Let's do Lorette's thing. <laughs> okay, so there might be something here that will be perfect ah, to help with my yes, vision. Yes, red. That's the reduced to clear rack. We're not going there. Over here, these are all the chocolates, which is sort of in keeping with what it is that I'm trying to do. Just um, um, have a little look at this, okay? Now, this is just the Lorette, top, of course. I know you're little, but Lorette, there's a I skirt said that I goes don't want with. sleeveless. No, there's a jacket. I have, I've thought of everything. It's all good, not to worry. Here we go. So, Anne, come on out. I want to see it. Um, do you have it on yet? Yes, I have it okay, on. Okay, come on. So you've got to be kidding me. No, no, just no. Try What it. are you wearing just for the it. wedding? She wants to, like, really upstage me. Just let me look like myself. I do not want to wear this dress. It needs to just be, look at how beautiful. Lorette, I'm trying to cooperate. That's what I said I do, but I don't like this dress. And I would really like it if you'd let me wear what kind of, I would like to wear it to my son's wedding. Because you're getting to wear what you want to wear to but your But it's my vision. Wedding. It's my vision. But what, there's supposed to be a little bit of give and take here. Come on. I That's do right. not want to wear to this. Give Are you really thinking bit. I'm going to wear this? You have to give a little bit. Well, Lorette, I've had enough. I've had enough. Isn't oh, this? and you're not. What am I going to do? This isn't working. This isn't Get working. This you're dress not cooperating. Off me. I want it for both of our children. You can't just like show up in some, I don't know, red dress or something. It would be appalling. It would look so day class A. There's no way I'm going to go to a wedding looking like that. There's absolutely. No way. I don't know how we're going to fix it. Gina can be very persuasive. I think I'm going to ask her to kind of, you know, give me a hand. Gina arrives just in time to try to keep the peace. The moms are at an impasse. If I can't get Lorette to hand over some control and give Ann some of her vision back, this wedding is not going to happen. I'm not angry. I am upset. I don't understand why she's not cooperating with anything. She doesn't like my ideas. She's very stubborn. I'm so frustrated. I just don't know what to do with her anymore. Well, she's upset. Mm -hmm. So why don't you ease up on picking her out the dress that you want her to wear? But what if she wears something atrocious? Just let her wear it. She knows what the color palette is. She knows how to dress. But the pictures, they're for a lifetime. Fashion sense, I have it. She doesn't. Give her the dress. Let it go. <sighs> all right, all right. It's, I came to you for advice, so OK, thanks. And there's one more thing. Oh, boy. I think that you should give Anne just a little bit of her fun, fresh winter wonderland theme in your wedding. Give her control of, let's say, the dessert table. But that's not small. That's important. It's going to be out at the end of the night. You're going to have your vision completely, completely done throughout the evening. Candy apples. Candy apples. That's, beaver there's, tails. There's hot the chocolate. Beaver tails. <laughs> this is so wrong. No, I don't know about that. That's so déclassé. Candy apples at a wedding? We'll make it fresh. We'll make it posh. We'll make it chic. <sighs> OK. Let's bring Anne in. Hi, Anne. Have a seat. Lorette happened to get here a little early. And we had a chat, and we came up, I think, with something that you're going to be really happy with. You guys came up with something you thought I'd be happy with? Well, actually, Anne, I think you're going to find that it's a good thing. First off, you get to pick and wear whatever you want on the wedding day. Now, that sounds fantastic. Oh, Lorette doesn't look too happy with that, but I'm excited. Thank you. And something else, right? You get to have full control of the dessert table at the wedding. Really? Yes. I'm on board. Yep. You get the dessert, you get a dress. All right, enough of this. Let's get busy. Let's get to work. Go plan a wedding. This way, girl. Now Anne's holding the reins, and she's okay. taking Lorette for a spin around the local okay. farmer's market. You don't want beaver tails? I think it sounds oh. so awful. Well, so I'm willing. Beaver tails. Here, have a beaver tail. 
I'm willing to give a bit for I you. Know, I know, so I know. I've got some more things to show you that I'm interested in for the dessert table. Okay. Um, uh, I'm all ears. Yes. Well, I think what we should do is go to the candied apple table. So we're going to put the apple in and spin it and make the candy apples. So you okay. just go across. Ooh, that looks back. great. It's a little thick there. And try to give it a little spin. That's really hot. On the tray. I think get, that looks a little dangerous, Ann. Get it down low. Across, cover the apples, spin, mm. spin. Ooh, what a show off. Put it down. I don't, Lorette, it's why an are apple. we doing this anyhow? Don't you For just go and buy table. these kind of things? Let's go. Lorette, look enthusiastic. This is for your daughter's wedding. Um, Put her on the tray. Don't look. Down, get down. Yeah, don't, you don't want to burn yourself. Yep. Look at this. Uh, Lorette, it's called I told candied the, apple. Sorry, I do something thing. else for a living, okay? This, this is, is disgusting. Yep, that's good. Voila. Okay, get it all covered. Crazy. Look at that. There's only a tiny bit of the apple top showing. You know what? I like the apple top showing because then people will know that it's real food as opposed to candy. Great I don't job, know how though. this qualifies as dessert, and Okay, let's go. A couple more dozen to go at least. Are you joking? I am not joking. Candy apples. I mean, seriously. If I'd had any idea that this is how I was going to be spending my time, I would have, I don't know, put on a little country ensemble like Ann was wearing. I want to check in with Desiree and Matt. With so much going on, I hope they're not getting cold feet. So, how are you guys feeling? I'm stressed about everything. I'm I'm really freaking out. I can't believe I'm not going to know what my own wedding dress looks like. It's actually pretty outrageous. I've sort of always dreamed of being able to choose something that was so beautiful, and, and now that control's been given to the mums, I have nightmares about it every night. Do you have any concern? My main concern would be with my mom. The days that she comes home from being with Lorette, she's a little stressed out. We kind of had a breakthrough. Um, we were able to give your mom a little bit of control as far as the wedding goes, and they both know how you want to look and feel on your wedding day. They are not going to steer you wrong, so stop stressing out. Well, be ready for the 3 a.m. phone call then. <laughs> so hang in there. Okay. While the bride and groom-to-be lay low, Gina rallies the troops for a wedding rehearsal. Desiree will be right here, and Matt will be right here. Well, I'll have you next, yep. and then my next gentleman right here. And tomorrow, girls, you'll be holding your bouquets. My flower girls will be right in this line. Perfect. Good job, guys. I think we're ready to have a wedding. Lorette, that went well, huh? Oh, yeah. I, I'm just a little nervous. Nervous, sure. Yeah. Mother of the bride. Well, yeah, yeah. There's so many people, you know, haven't seen them in a long time, especially, you know, Des's dad. And yeah, it's been a really long time. How long? About 20 years. Yeah. 20 years? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's a tough day. Girl, let's get you a cocktail. Come on. Oh, yeah. Or three. There's no time for Lorette to dwell. She needs to put on a brave face for the wedding rehearsal party. Excuse me, can I get everyone's attention? So thank you so much to all of you for being here and making um, our wedding day perfect. Well, we think it might be well, perfect. We're not And we're hoping yet. it will be. I'm freaking out a little bit. I have no idea what the decor is going to look like. I wouldn't be surprised if Anne's dessert table didn't match the decor at all. Lorette is going to be blown away by the dessert table. I'm so tired. I just don't even have it in me. And that's a piece of all of it. And it's like not gelling with my vision, that's for sure. I think things are definitely going to clash. And most importantly, my dress might be hideous. I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. And the makeup better be fabulous because I'm going to have crazy bags under my eyes and just be exhausted. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. I really don't know what's going to happen, but I'm hoping that everyone understands that I haven't planned anything and this is just coming We should just pull the whole thing off. After five years, Desiree and Matt are to be married today. Everything has to be perfect. Lorette's not leaving anything to chance. Hi. Hey. How are you? Good. Uh, so... 
It's not too much done yet, eh? Well, I mean, we just got in. Okay. Um, which we're used to, don't worry. Okay. So, and sweet table, uh -huh. we're going to put right here. Oh, no, no, no. We can't have it here because this is where everybody enters and that would be the first thing they see. Can we put it, like, is there a closeted area or something behind, like, a, I don't know, like some of these drapes or something? A closet. Okay, whatever, but at least at the other side of the room where the majority of our guests will not be able to see. Okay, it. okay, we'll move some of these tables down and we'll have the dessert awesome. section over Thank there. Thank you, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, Gina. Your centerpieces uh -huh. are not here yet. What? Uh, th it, that's okay, that's not the problem. Uh, they, There's a problem? Well, they called me and the shade of purple that they have is... The eggplant. It, it's not eggplant. But it has to be eggplant. Everything's eggplant. It's it's tough just because it's the dead of winter. They're having a, a problem getting a color that they that... They fly flowers in from all over the world. It's a little bit of a problem right now. They're sending some lighter problem. shades. We, ha we have to have the eggplant. That's the accent color. We have to have it. Okay. So you're not okay with just adding in a little more ivory or a little more of the lighter? No, okay. no, 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 we have to. That's key to the vision. Purples are, are royalty, they're elegant, they're, that's imp so important. It's what you want, we have to get it, I will work on it. It's situations like this that drive me absolutely crazy. No matter how many weddings I plan, there are always last minute fires to put out. But it's 24 hours before the wedding, it's crunch time. I need to see Des in the dress. Lorette leaves Gina to find the perfect shade of flowers and arrives at Anne's house to deliver Desiree's dress. Okay, thanks. Okay, you ready? Down low. Really? Across, yes. really? Apple spin, really ready? Okay, spin. on the count of three. One, two, three. What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. It's such a nice fit. Isn't it beautiful? Look at you. It's absolutely perfect. It's like it was made for you. Look at all the beautiful little details. It's beautiful. You couldn't look more magnificent. Everything is just, it just so perfectly complements you. Everything's perfect. You look great. I never ever expected to have such a beautiful dress. Thanks. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. I'm really happy with it. She looks beautiful. And thank you, it's, Anne, too, it's for... It's really beautiful, and it suits you. It's beautiful. It's not quite what I've chosen, but mine would have been totally different, and how this looks on you is fantastic. I really wanted it to be dramatic, but still elegant, and I think you did a really great job doing that, Of course Mom. it's elegant, and it's beautiful on you. You look amazing, like a princess. I hope it all comes together later today. Oh, it will. Don't worry. Everything's under control. Can I just have a little chat with Des sure. for a sec? Certainly. See you. Call me when you want me back. Okay, okay? thanks. Thanks. See you, Anne. See you. Come on over here for a sec, honey. Okay. Okay, um, we haven't had a chance to talk. I need to sort of know what this story is about walking down the aisle. Who's going to walk you down the aisle? Well, you, of course. Good. <laughs> but also, Dad. Your dad. My dad. At the same time. Is that going to be OK? Is okay. that going to be OK? Yeah? Yeah. OK. Of course, it's your day. OK. It's whatever you want. If that's what you want, that's what I'll do. It's your wedding day. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Yeah, let's. Wedding to go Come on. to. Come let's go. table over there, which is going to be great to have. I'd really appreciate it. It's the day of the wedding, and Anne is scrambling right to finish here, her Winter Wonderland oh. dessert table. Oh, my. Wouldn't want to ruin the effect of yeah. the cake. No one will ever notice. <laughs> Gina. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Go Eggplant. Oh, uh, this, wonderful. Is this eggplant that enough is for eggplant. You? Okay, that good. is magnificent. Fantastic. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. What's up? How are you? The only thing I'm still kind of like, not, I'm not freaking, but like, have you seen Anne? Did you see what she's wearing? Her wedding attire? You don't know that. No, I do okay. not know. You want to have a seat? Okay, just for, yeah. Yeah, you so. Feeling okay? Yeah, no, I'm just kind of, my head's just kind of, I just was talking to Des and, um, 
yeah, she's, I thought I was walking her down the aisle and now it turns out it's uh, not just me. She's gonna have her dad and myself walk her down the aisle. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Just like, I'm just trying to get my head around it basically, yeah, so. Because it just wasn't sort of how I, you know, envisioned it or, but yeah, this is what we're doing. I, I understand it's tough, I can't imagine. Okay, thank you. But we're gonna get you Thanks. through it. Thanks. Go get changed. Okay. Ready or not, it's time for the wedding. I hope I can get this wedding underway without any more problems. Loretta is going to be seeing her ex-husband for the first time in 20 years. I have no idea what Anne's wearing. The whole thing could fall apart at the last minute. Lorette's put a smile on her face and is ready to share the aisle with her ex-husband. It's all good. You're gonna do great. Here comes Lorette, but she's walking with her own husband. And Desiree's dad walks down the aisle with his wife. There's been a last minute upset, and now, no sign of the bride. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. I, Matthew, take thee, Desiree. I, Matthew, take thee, Desiree. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I, Desiree, take thee, Matthew. I, Desiree, take thee, Matthew. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I pronounce that they be man and wife together according to God's holy ordinance. It was a huge success. Matt was really, really happy, which was great to see. Desiree looked absolutely beautiful. Lorette got her entire theme. It was chocolate extravaganza. I'm gonna ask everyone to stand, please, while we welcome the bride and groom. was going to be walking Desiree down the aisle and then we realized it was a very small church and she had a very large dress so at the very last minute we had to decide that we would be up at the front and she would come down on her own. I was so proud of the fact that she did that. She was very brave. I'm I thrilled. Couldn't be happier to be married to her. When I first saw her in the wedding dress I was absolutely stunned and I couldn't imagine the wedding being any better than it was. She's the most beautiful person in the world. When I first saw my mom's decor, I was really, really impressed, and I think she did an amazing job. I couldn't have planned a more beautiful wedding myself. Even though it's not my vision. Because <laughs> everything is beautiful. Give it up, girl. It's elegant. It's over now. It's elegant. And there really aren't enough words to say how I feel right now. Anne really excels when it comes to really delicious sweets, and my God, did she do a good job. You give Anne one thing to have control over, and she goes a little crazy, but the crowd really loved it, so no harm done. The cupcake was great, and I can't wait to eat more. I'm going to have cupcakes, I'm going to have chocolate-covered pretzels, I'm going to have candy apples. I think we put her in charge of the right <laughs> thing. Mm. I was so concerned about what Anne was going to wear. I was genuinely congratulatory with the elegance of her ensemble. I thought she looked amazing. It's fantastic. Yeah, I know. We're happy. We the should do this happy. for a living. 
There were quite a few in-law wedding wars, but at the end of the day, I think everybody sort of came together again, and that was great to see. So a successful wedding all the way around. I would like to take this opportunity to, again, thank our fabulous mothers. Ladies, you look beautiful tonight, and, and we owe this entire occasion to all of your hard work, and you put your whole heart into it, and we can't tell you how much we appreciate that. We're feeling the love. <laughs> feeling the love. It's all good. We bonded. Cheers to this fabulous dessert. Cheers. 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 Cheers.